Hey everybody, this is uh, my video for the uh, Incinolet incinerating toilet. I'll just try to make it real quick here. But um, it's all stainless steel. It's real simple, basic. All you do is you put in your paper. This is the um, the actual bowl area. That's how you flush it. You put in your paper. You do your business. You open that up with your foot. There's a little lever down here. You just push down on it. That opens up and the weight of your whatever brings everything straight down into the uh, baking area for lack of a better term because that's pretty much what's happening it's being baked down just to ashes um, I don't know how polite this is but I'm just going to show you that's about three weeks and it's sterile you can touch it there's no way it can hurt you all that's history because it's all been baked out of it it's just ashes like any other ashes same as wood ashes walk over anywhere boom nice and easy this is a big pan that holds the heat in it's a uh, real thick and it's uh, insulated and that's the actual pan that you do your business in okay it bolts to the floor and it's got a it kind of rocks and that's to make it where um, like in my case I'm in an RV it's a van and uh, it keeps the vibrations from you know having any possibility of messing up your electronics which are in here on the side just four bolts and you're in there you can change out the uh, motherboard or whatever if anything ever goes wrong with that real simple man I, it's one of the things I really like about it uh, when it comes time to do your thing you just push the button and um, it kicks on pulling 2,000 watts and uh, it does it for about probably 10 minutes straight solid pulling 2,000 watts so you gotta have a pretty good system to back it up but then once after that 10 minutes is over it starts to cycle on and off and it's much easier on your battery then and uh, mine just plugs in the wall right here I just uh, wired this thing myself because I pretty much did the whole thing myself and this is the dedicated 20 amp going to it um, and uh, it's, a, it's a single wire going back to my um, inverter and it's on a uh, 20 amp breaker and once you do that you're all good um, the way I routed it I routed it through the floor so the exhaust I'm getting behind it now kind of tighten here the exhaust I just routed through the floor instead of out the side that's pretty much what I've done with everything with this fan because you don't have to have to worry about vents leaking uh, you don't have to if you want to go um, you know stealthy this is the stealthiest thing you can do just run everything out the floor so yeah, I just pulled, I just drilled a hole in the floor there, ran it straight out the floor, got like a dryer vent down below that it runs out of, and uh, that's pretty much it for that. Um, we'll climb out here. So I showed you the plug in the wall back there. The plug.
plug back there. Um, the wires <clears throat> are inside the wall and they run clear over to here and then down and through some uh, some conduit and into this box. This is the actual inverter cut off from right here over is the inverter and this is the fuse box. It's an extra thing that you can buy to put all your breakers in. And uh, I got my breaker in that. This is the main breaker that goes to the shore power. It's 30 amp. And then the uh, 20 amp breaker is back there for the Incinolet. <coughs> and then a couple 15s for other things, other outlets. Um, and it's a 3,600 watt inverter because you really, you know, like say, say you're, you're trying to figure out what you want to do, right? You want to get one of these Incinolets and it, it pulls 2,000 watts. So you want a 2,000 watt inverter. Actually not. You want to go past that. You don't want your inverter to go maxing out, um, especially for an hour. Well, especially for 10 minutes solid and then cycling for an hour after that. It's going to be really hard on it. Um, it probably will shorten its life because you're, you're maxing the thing out, right? So go look for like a 3600 uh, watt inverter or, or even a 3000 watt inverter if you're going to do the Incinolet thing. Um, I got a 48 volt uh, battery bank too. That helps. Uh, my system's 48 volts, so it makes it a lot easier to get up to that, those higher uh, wattages. But a 24... Uh, a 24 volt system can can work, but uh, I'm not so sure that uh, you know it can handle that kind of punishment for very long. You know, taking it to its very limit. Um, even with uh, this being a 3600, when I'm running the toilet, it still kicks the fan on like it's struggling. But I think that's just probably you know it's probably nowhere near struggling, but. The fan kicks on <clears throat> so you can only imagine what a 2000 watt inverter would be going through It'd probably getting pretty hot uh, but that's pretty much uh, everything about it um, looks like I need to do some dusting <laughs> but um yeah that's the toilet because uh, people have been asking about it um, that was the number one thing that people have been asking about so I wanted to do it first but there's a ton of other things to, to talk about that I've done that <clears throat> aren't exactly the same as what other people have done or are something that I've never seen anybody else do too I got one thing that I've never seen anybody else do but there's probably people out there that have done it but um yeah that's pretty much it for the uh, toilet how I made it work how this uh, inverter can handle it how the um, dedicated uh, circuit is going to it you know make everything legit just like they say, you know, you need to do it in a Cinelet. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, there's plenty more to come. Bye-bye.